With Nikola Motors rising to a $23 billion valuation, it's no secret that the executive chairman, Trevor Milton, has been making suspiciously ambitious claims. Now, before I begin, I unfortunately must start with a disclaimer. Nikola likes to sue people for pointless things. Everything said in this video is for entertainment purposes and you should always do your own due diligence. I am certainly not a financial advisor. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. Nikola Motors has made some quite groundbreaking claims, with the most notable one being a new revolutionary battery. Nikola claims their battery will achieve a record energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram, last 2000 cycles, and cost between 50 to 70 dollars per kilowatt hour. Okay, and that would be somewhere in the range of like $50 per kilowatt hour to $100 per kilowatt hour is essentially what you're getting at. We're, yeah, we're hoping between 50 and 50 and 70 is our goal. Theranos is a company that also made quite ambitious claims about its technology. The CEO promised a revolutionary blood analyzer that was able to run hundreds of blood tests with just a finger prick of blood. These claims were deemed false years later. While we don't know if Nikola's claims are false, the battery breakthrough that the company claims to have achieved would be just as revolutionary as Theranos' blood testing technology. After all, the executive chairman, Trevor Milton, has stated that this is the biggest advancement we have seen in the battery world. We are not talking about small improvements. We are talking about doubling your cell phone battery capacity. We are talking about doubling the range of BEVs and hydrogen electric vehicles around the world. With Tesla's Battery Investor Day approaching, we're able to see the behind the scene developments through various means. For example, Jeff Don at the Dalhousie University has been filing plenty of battery patents and submitting research reports. To top it off, we've also seen the development of a pilot production line at Fremont and the acquisitions of Maxwell and Hybar. However, with Nikola, the battery breakthrough that they claim to have seems to be coming out of nowhere, with no acquisitions, no research reports, no production lines, and no famous battery chemists. This aligns with Theranos, whose CEO didn't have much knowledge about the medical sector, as she dropped out of Stanford at an early stage. Similar to Theranos, Nikola has quite suspicious demos when unveiling its products to the public. Theranos was able to show their revolutionary machine named the Edison machine, but we never got to see the machine perform a blood test live. With Nikola, the company's demos show how their trucks are moving, but we aren't allowed to see the drivetrain, the battery, or the hydrogen fuel cell. For all we know, the truck that Nikola demos to the public could be running on a rather mediocre battery and have no hydrogen fuel cell. Now this comparison to Theranos is actually something even the Theranos CEO, Elizabeth Holmes, did not do. However, it's definitely something worth noting. According to a Vecto IQ SEC filing in March, Milton sold 7 million private shares of Nikola for $10 a share, totaling to $70 million. Just 7 months later in November, Milton bought the most expensive real estate in Utah by paying $32.5 million for a Riverbend ranch. This ranch consists of 8 bedrooms, 9 bathrooms, 2,670 acres, and 16,800 square feet. This comes off as incredibly suspicious, as Trevor inflated the valuation of Nikola through ambitious claims like the revolutionary battery, and then sold $70 million worth of stock before he even sold the product with that groundbreaking battery. If Trevor's claims about Nikola are true, wouldn't it make sense to wait for the valuation of Nikola to increase? after the company starts selling and revealing its groundbreaking battery? Many will say that Trevor is just cashing out some stock so that he could pay for living expenses. But if that was true, then why is he selling such a large amount of his stake? When it comes to Theranos, Elizabeth Holmes actually lived in a rather humble house. Despite having a net worth of $5 billion, she was still living in a one-bed, one-bath home. With Theranos, Elizabeth Holmes constantly talked about how revolutionary the Edison machine was, but we never got to see that machine in action. She was also extremely persuasive, as when the Theranos board made the decision to fire her, she was able to persuade the board to backtrack on their actions. This seems to line up with Nikola Motors, as Trevor Milton is not only a persuasive speaker, 
but is also out here claiming that he has already outcompeted Elon Musk. There's very few people that can out Elon in this world and that and I'm I'm one of them. <laughs> There's very few people that can out Elon in this world and that and I'm I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Let me know what you think about Nikola Motors in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.